Hi, my name is Dawn Lewis and you have come across my very first vlog post. Today is the 4th of May and you know what that means. It is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. In this vlog series, I wanted to talk at first about art and craft and then I really got to thinking that perhaps you are the ones who should be telling me what you would like to know. I have a lot of experience in the crafting industry. I'm the host of Scrap It TV and I've been involved in that from seasons three through seven and while the show's on hiatus I was itching to get back in front of the camera again and get back to teaching craft but not just here's a project or here's a product and how to use it. While those things are fantastic, I really wanted to talk about other things that maybe you want to know. Do you want to know how to craft on a budget? Are you looking for a charity for whom you can craft? You know, you don't have to just give money to a charity. You can actually make things and there are dozens of them. And I look forward to sharing some of those fantastic charities with you in upcoming vlogs as well. Perhaps you are trying to get organized or maybe you're looking to de-stash perhaps you've got a product and you've bought it and you're not quite sure what to do with it now I will admit I have dialed back my spending quite significantly I'm very specific about new tools and new products that I buy just because I've been doing this my whole life and I have a lot of stuff if you met my husband and asked him, hey, does Dawn have some craft gear? He'd roll his eyes and say, oh my God, too much. So I'm all about being organized and just getting the things that I need. So I might not be able to tell you specifics about something. However, I might know somebody who can. So I'm looking forward to bringing you some interviews with crafting friends as well. One of the other things I do is swaps. And if you are interested in swapping, be it handmade or product, I run those once a month. I have two that are going currently. I will put a link down below so that you can find more information about those on my blog. I'll also pop a link to my website. And if you have crafting friends, perhaps you would like to give them a link to this video. Links for everybody. What do you want to know? If you want to pop a comment below with a question, maybe you've got a crafting dilemma or maybe you just don't have as much time to craft as you want. And that brings me to today's topic. And it's a quick one because I want to keep these videos short and sweet. But the most frequently asked question in that I receive is Dawn, how do you find all that time? How do you get so much craft into your day? There's a long and a short answer. The short answer is I don't do housework. I am not a scrub the floors every day kind of girl. I do the bare essentials and I give the house a good deep clean once a year. Look, I'm in the middle of decluttering the whole house and that's something that will give me more time to craft in the long run. It's going to keep me really busy for the next couple of months because there's a lot to get rid of, but I'm going to feel better for it. The long answer involves things like, this is my job where someone else might get dressed in the morning and go to work. I come into the studio and I work on magazine deadlines or design team projects, or I may be designing a new pattern sheet. I might be writing a book. Some of the time I'm creating projects and segments for Scrap It TV. So while I'm not spending my segment time that I usually would, I thought I would spend that time vlogging and talking to you. So tell me what you wanna know. Over the course of this vlogging experience, at some point you will meet my crafting companion. Her name is Ali, aka Quality Control Kitty. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see pictures of her testing out my latest quilt. She tests every single one for comfort, stealing my warm seat. Do you want to meet her? Say hello. Say hello. You're who's a good girl. Bye bye. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so look. I do not live in a conventional household. I do not have a conventional family. I do not have a conventional job. Sometimes things might not go quite right. So I have this crafting career because it allows me to be flexible and work around my family. Flexibility is really important thing for me and creativity. And so those two things, you will find them right here. I hope that you have a wonderful crafty day. I really look forward to reading your comments below. And if you don't want to comment here on YouTube, you can send me an email or you can send me a message on Facebook. Happy crafting, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.